Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarlane here bringing you a new Never Winter video. And if you're watching this video on today, today is November 28th of 2019. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, if you're an American and you celebrate the traditional Thanksgiving, uh, happy Thanksgiving guys. You know, I'm thankful for all you uh, that have made my, my community so thriving over the past four years now. And I uh, just want to say thank you guys. So eat a lot of food today. Have a lot of fun. Now, as far as Neverwinter is concerned, we, uh, we, we don't care about Thanksgiving. There is no Thanksgiving event in Neverwinter. What we care about is Black Friday. And traditionally, Black Friday was usually a sell on Black Friday and sometimes Cyber Monday. Which is obviously, you know, the Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, then, you know, whatever. The time frame doesn't matter. You'll get the point. Now, the point is... I remember a time when Cryptic Studios used to give us a 50% discount in the Zen market. 50%, half off for Black Friday. They didn't do anything on Cyber Mondays. It was all about Black Friday. It was 50% off, literally half off everything in the Zen market. And people used to go nuts over that. People used to just open up their wallets and just spend so much money on Black Friday. It was one of the only times of the year that we really had a big discount. Um, and then slowly over the years, for the past two years, the company dropped it down to 40%. So no longer was it 50%, it was 40%. Now here we are in 2019 uh, and you could just tell. You can tell that Cryptic is either really struggling for money or they're just being really, really greedy. Uh, one or the other. Neverwinter is not in the best of states right now. You know, the state of the game is not very good right now. People are playing other games. The lack of updates, the content, all the Mod 16 changes. There's so many excuses that I can give uh, for why people leave this game at this point. But here we are, guys. We're, we're in 2019, and now again, again, they dropped the bonus down. It's only 30% discount. And they did something different this year. They even went into a lazy mode. So the sell actually began on never, November 22nd, and it's going to last all the way until December 3rd. So now instead of only having that one 50% off on one day on Black Friday... They're giving you ample amount of time. It's November 22nd to December 3rd, but it's only a 30% discount. So the company's getting more for their buck. Like, I mean, 30% is still 30%. You know, if you still need to buy stuff, if you're still looking to make money in the game, if you still even play this game, you're still going to take advantage of this. But I don't understand why we can't have 50%. All right, as, as, I, as I was saying, <clears throat> I don't understand why... We still can't have 50%. Even if the company is hurting for money, it would make more logical sense as a marketing standpoint that if you have a bigger bonus, uh, such as 50%, more people will be willing to spend more money. So even if the company is trying to be greedy or even if the company is going through a hard time right now, I don't understand why they did 30% 30, 30%. Like I said, I remember the good old days when we used to get 50%. For the past two years, <clears throat> it's only been 40%. And now this year, it's 30%. So I don't understand the marketing logic here. I mean, you're just telling people, hey, we're either being greedy or we're going through a hard time, so we're not going to give you as much. Um, everybody knows that Black Friday is literally uh, the biggest shopping day uh, in the United States. Um, as far as commerce goes and consumerism, eh, dude everybody shops on black friday and mainly for the deals you know uh people save up all their money all year so they can splurge on black friday either for themselves uh gifts for their loved ones uh early christmas shopping whatever the case may be um i don't really want to harp on this too much longer you know i mean there's so much that can be said but it just shows really where the state of the game is and the next topic that we're going to actually talk about uh is the legendary mounts so let's go ahead and jump into this fiasco uh the legendary mounts are now in the zen market yes neverwinter can be classified as 100 percent pretty much pay to win at this point 
even though this is only a limited time frame, this is the first and only time that the company is actually selling legendary mounts for cash in the Zen market. There's three mounts and they all have time frames. Like I said, depending on when you watch this video, you might have already missed out on these. My only hope is that these three mount skins actually do go permanent rare. So if you buy more than one of these, you can hang on to it and down the road a couple months. Little Jimmy didn't get his opportunity to buy a certain one of these three skins. He really wants it. And you're going to be able to take him to Pound Town and charge him like, you know, uh, above and beyond what you paid for it. But knowing Cryptic's track record, I don't know if they're going to re-release these down the line or something stupid. Like, even myself is being very cautious in buying more than what I need right now. Because I'm so worried about and making this investment. And then all of a sudden they re-release these or something. So we have the Teal Armored Axe Beak. It's literally the Axe Beak. It's just reskinned Axe Beak. Except they're calling it the Teal. Uh, this one, if you're already watching, watching this video currently, time frame wise, this is already gone. This is already, in my eyes, permanently rare. Which we'll take a look at in the game here momentarily. Next up, which is the current one active right now, is the Cosmic Celestial Stag. Now, out of all three of these skins, I would assume most people are going to want the Celestial Stag. It's the one that looks the best out of the three. The other two are kind of subpar. Uh, and these things are expensive, you know. And then finally, uh, we have the Mossy Flail Snail, which even myself, I don't know if I'm going to buy this. Yeah, you know, I'm... A very big mount skin collector I try to collect as many mount skins as I can within reason uh, I'm missing a lot of legendary mounts obviously just because I mean they're just so expensive I mean there's not much I can do you know it's my personal opinion that they need to do something with the mount system they've overhauled pretty much everything else in the game right now they need to do something with the mount system now I have ideas I've always had ideas for it but they don't listen to me so what the hell do I know um, but th they can make a lot of more revenue from some of the ideas that I would have in an updated mount system. So these are all three of the limited time mounts. Well, limited as I do the bunny ears uh, in the air here. November 22nd to November 26th. Like I said, this one is already gone. We're currently on the stag November 26th to November 30th. And then November 30th to December 3rd is the Flail Snow. So let's go ahead and jump in game real quick. And we're going to continue to talk about these in particular legendary mounts. Alright guys, and here we are in game. Obviously currently on Xbox. Let's go ahead and jump into the Zen market here real quick. So if you go up here and look, here's the Cosmic Stag. Now you're going to notice right off the bat the price tag. And this is what I want to talk about. Uh, so we do have the Black Market sell. So all of the three... Legendary mounts are gonna fall under the 30% off sale now I'm um, I was hoping and a lot of the community was hoping that when Black Friday actually hits that maybe they increase the bonus either to 40% or God forbid 50% um, So even though they gave us an extended period of time for the 30% off I'm hoping once either Friday Black Friday hits or Cyber Monday hits that maybe the bonus the discount actually increases but don't hold your breath, guys. I mean, I would love to see it, and I would be very surprised to see it. But I honestly don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. So, you're going to notice the price on this. It's 5600 Zen. That's $56, guys, uh, to buy a Legendary Mount. And to be perfectly honest, that's a good deal. <laughs> that really, That's a really good deal. Considering to get a Legendary Mount in Neverwinter... You have to roll lockboxes. So, I mean, you can spend, you know, X amount of money buying X amount of keys for a chance to get a particular legendary mount. Or if you're a new player, well now, pay to win, you can just buy a legendary mount right off the bat. $56 up front, bickety bam, you got yourself a Lego mount. Uh, now, if we look at these, you know... Some of them aren't, you know, the best statistically, unfortunately. But if you're a brand new player and you're trying to get your first legendary mount just so you can have the 140% mount speed, well then, you know, <laughs> if, you, if your wallet's big enough, 
$56. Now, my point is that let's imagine that these weren't on sale. That means 30% more of $5,600, if my math is correct, is what? Uh, 7280 Let's just say $7,300. let us just round up and say $7,300. So that's $73 per legendary mount, right? Now, what if you want to buy all three of them? What if you're a mount collector like me? I'm going to have to pay 16,800 Zen if I wanted all three mount skins, right? That's $168 on a six-year-old game. Am I really going to do that? No, of course I'm not. I'm going to use my in-game currency and use the ADX, but that's beside the point. The point is, and the point that I want to make is, is that, yes, these are a good deal, but for a six-year-old game, I believe these are still overpriced uh, for what they are. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we see Mythic Mounts actually soon. I think they're going to actually upgrade the mount system here soon. And you're going to see Mythic Mounts coming. Because you know, that's how companies work. They're going to wait till the last minute, right? They're going to push out old stuff. They're going to want new players to buy that old stuff. And then, bam, all of a sudden, bickety-boom. Well, now here's new stuff, you know? Now here's upgraded stuff. And they're going to push all of those people into trying that, you know, to get them to get all the new stuff, you know? That's how Neverwinter operates. That's how Neverwinter has always operated. You can see it. Between the module updates from mod update to mod update to mod update. You guys are constantly updating your gear. You're constantly upgrading your enchantments. You're constantly upgrading your companions. They're, they're, it's a never ending cycle of new stuff always coming out. And you always have to upgrade your stuff. Well now we're, in, we're to the point in the 6 year lifespan of this game so far. Where if they're literally selling legendary mounts on the Zen market. Even though this is only a limited time opportunity to do it. I could definitely foresee the mount system getting an upgrade. We're either going to see mythic mounts or a different tier of mounts or, or something's going to change along the lines. Or maybe I'm wrong. Who knows at this point? Maybe the game's going to die at the end of the year. I don't really know. I just think it's funny that this, again, shows either corporate greed on the company's uh, part or the company is really, really struggling and they're doing anything and everything they can to stay afloat to keep Neverwinter active right now. Because, I mean, why would they be selling Legendary Mouse? Like I said, even though it is only a limited time frame, this is the first time they've ever done this. I don't want to jump to any uh, rash conclusions, but it just doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't seem right. There's something off about this. It's either corporate greed or, like I said... Cryptic Studios is either really struggling in the Neverwinter department right now and they think that this is going to be a rebound, all the revenue they're going to make. I don't really know. Um, I just think it's kind of funny. So, one more thing we're going to talk about and that is the butterfly mounts. Yes, they put the freaking butterfly mounts back in the game. These were an exclusive item, a promo item that I think you bought out of the pack. I think it was, was it the summer pack. I, I don't even know what it was, to be honest. I don't even remember. But you could only get one of them. So here they are right here. They're 2,450 Zen. There's three of them. There's three colors. There's a red, a yellow, and a blue. The only one that I'm currently missing, obviously, is the yellow one. And of course, I'm probably going to end up buying it because I'm a Mount Skin collector and I want the yellow one, I guess. So let's just say $24.50 for a skin. Um, now, like I said, there's three of them, so if you didn't buy any of them, uh, that's going to run you, what, 7,350 Zen? I think my math's right on that. So $73.50 again. So now, let's say you want to buy all three legendary mounts, and you want to buy the, all three butterfly mounts, and let's just say you want to buy, you know, whatever else your character still needs on the Zen market. Like, you are looking at, like, I don't know, $200, $300, $500? Cryptic. Come on now. Why would you release all of this stuff at once? Like I said, it comes all back to either A, corporate greed, or B, Neverwinter is to a point right now where it shows that it is just beyond struggle bus right now. They have to be struggling financially to be doing all these changes. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at the webpage and then we'll wrap this video up.
All right, guys, and here's the official announcement. I forget when this went live. Uh, November 27th, so depending, again, when you're watching this video, that was yesterday for me of when this video goes live, uh, if you're watching this in the future or whatever. Now, these actually last until December 12th. Now, keep in mind that December 3rd, the 30% discount goes away. So if you plan on buying any of the butterfly mounts, um, you know, you better do it before December 3rd because after December 3rd, they'll go up to their full price. You're not going to get any discount on them whatsoever. Uh, one thing I did want to mention that they actually did that I liked, um, if you did get the expedition pack, so say you did buy the expedition pack or whatever the case may be, uh, I believe it came out of, was, this is the most recent thing, right? Did this come out of the Fallen Apprentice expedition pack? I, I forget what pack the, the butterflies even came out of, to be honest. But if you did end up buying that expedition pack, you were actually able to claim another butterfly for free. So you could only buy one expedition pack. So for instance, I bought the expedition pack. So I got the blue one with the expedition pack, right? But I didn't have access to the yellow or red. Keep in mind, these are all character bound, right? So when this came out, now I was able to actually claim the red one for free. Well, I could claim the yellow or the red, but I, I claimed the red one. So that was just a little kind of bonus that they actually gave that actually made me smile a little bit. It actually made me feel appreciated for once because, you know, expedition packs are expensive. Uh, I think the Fallen Apprentice one is like 15,000 zen or something. Uh, I think I did the early bird special, so I think it was 10,000. I don't know. I don't remember. You'll have to go back in the videos and look and see and whatever the prices were. But they're expensive. You know, when you're talking about 10,000 zen... 15,000 zen, you're talking about, you're talking about a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars, uh, for an expedition pack. So I was actually happy to see the fact that if anyone bought that expedition pack, well, yeah, you kind of got an extra mount skin in that. So you would have got one mount skin with the expedition pack and now they brought them back and you can get another one. Uh, and you can actually claim that free one on every character on your account. Like I have 35 characters, I think on my account. I was actually claim that free one on every single one of those characters. So make sure you guys go and do that uh, and take full advantage of that. Especially if you spent all of that money on that expedition pack and you were upset to find out that not only were they bound. Because that was the first expedition pack that those mount skins were bound. They, they were not able to be sold in the auction house. That's why I wasn't able to get all three of them. You were only able to get one color. You had to pick what color you wanted. The blue, yellow, or red. Obviously, blue is my favorite color. That's why I picked blue. Now this event came out, and I was able to get the red one. And if you do want that third one, they give you the opportunity. You just got to pay for it. So, whole lot of stuff going on right now, guys. You're going to have to analyze the information yourself. Come up with your own uh, generalized opinion on what's going on. Is this corporate greed? Uh, is Cryptic Studio struggling financially in the Neverwinter department, which obviously I think it's the latter. But leave me a comment below. Again, have a good Thanksgiving. You know, if you're American, you know, you know there's some, a lot of foreign people do watch my videos. They don't give a shit about American Thanksgiving. So, but here in the States, it is Thanksgiving. So let's give thanks. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you're thankful for. You know, let me know what's up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.